This is the outskirts of Malacca town in South Sudan's Upper Nile state. In the world's newest country, homes are being built for thousands of returnees. Many, like Galwak Tut, arrived with little more than a fierce sense of hope and determination. When the civil war broke out, Galwak and his family fled northward to Khartoum. Life wasn't easy, but it was stable until independence for the south became inevitable. Faced with discrimination and harassment, Gawak decided to move back to the south. Now he anxiously waits for his new home to be finished. In the last 14 months, more than 360,000 men, women and children have come home from the north. UNHCR and the government of South Sudan are running a transitional shelter program. In 2011, some 7,000 homes were built for returnees. Uh, we knew some of the returnees may not have the land may not have the places to put up. So UNSR were looking into target those people who are extremely vulnerable, people disabled with a disability, uh, single-headed household hold. New nations offer new opportunities. Galwak saw that and started his own mobile phone charging business. Clients are plentiful. And so life is promising, he says. With that prospect, he hopes to help his brother and sister return to South Sudan as well. Nation building has its challenges. Peace has not reached all corners of this newborn state. Poverty is rampant, and there is a dire need for facilities. Still, there is an atmosphere of hope in the enthusiasm of returnees like Galwaktut. <laughs>